Hi everyone, my name is Hussein, and in this video we are going to talk about backends for frontends pattern. This pattern lies under design and implementation category of cloud design patterns. And this pattern is about creating a separate backend service to be consumed by a specific frontend application or interface. And we are going to see this in more details in a minute. Also, it's good to mention other similar or related patterns to the backends for frontends pattern. Related patterns are gateway aggregation pattern, gateway of loading pattern, and gateway routing pattern. Hopefully, we are going to make a video to talk about these patterns in future. And to help you to understand this pattern, let's consider this scenario. Let's assume that we have a web application that's been designed to work on desktop web browser. And we have a backend service, and of course, this kind of communication is going to be required between the frontend and the backend service. And the backend service could be anything like Azure App Service, or Azure Functions App, or even AWS Lambda if you are more into AWS world. Then you have decided that you want to evolve your solution and implement a native mobile app for your solution. Be careful here, we are not talking about mobile web. We're talking about a native mobile app version of your solution. And since you have already done the backend service for your solution, then you are going to connect the mobile app to the backend service that you have already implemented. Then you decided you want to grow your solution and reach to more customers through different front ends like Alexa, for example, and you decided to build a dedicated Alexa skill or Alexa app for your solution. And then you are going to connect the Alexa skill with the backend service of your solution. And for those who doesn't know what Alexa is, Alexa is a device developed by Amazon, similar to Google Home that's developed by Google. And these are voice-enabled devices. That allows the customer to interact with these devices using their voice. However, some of these devices come with a screen to make the interaction with the user even better. So the user can still interact with these devices using their voice and touch interactions on the screen or scroll buttons on the device. And this is the new level of front ends that you need to be aware of when you design your solution. So we have a desktop or laptop, then we have a mobile or tablet devices, then we have voice enabled devices like Alexa or Google Home. Also we have a smartwatch. So it's always good to consider what different front ends needs to be implemented for your solution before you start the implementation process. Now let's get back to our solution. And let's say that the desktop version wants to display the full profile details, including name, date of birth, city, phone number, email address. However, the mobile version is less interested in all of this information and just wants to display username, date of birth, and phone number. While the Alexa skill it just wants to display the first name of the user. Now let's look at the backend service and see what it's able to provide. As you can see here, the backend service is able to return the full profile details. So you might be asking, what is the big deal? We have the backend service that returns the full profile details, and then we have a different front end that's going to display different amount of information as required. And this is exactly the challenge. Because if we decided to make a change to one of the front ends, the chance is really high that we might cause disruption to other front ends. And the reason for this is because all of these front ends depends on one general backend service. And this is the challenge that the backends for front ends pattern is trying to solve. Now let's see how can we resolve this challenge. So we are going to slice the general backend service into multiple services. Desktop backend service, mobile backend service, and Alexa backend service. And then we are going to connect the desktop front end with the desktop backend service, and the mobile front end with the mobile backend service, and the Alexa front end with the Alexa backend service. 
Now, the desktop backend service is going to return the full profile details. That's exactly required to be displayed on the desktop front end of our solution. While the mobile backend service is going to return the amount of information that's exactly required to be displayed by the mobile front end. While the Alexa backend service is going to return just the first name that's required to use in the Alexa skill front end of the solution. Now, if we decided to make a change on the Alexa display and add more fields, then we can make updates to the Alexa backend service without worrying about making any disturption to other front ends of our solution. And this is the true value of the backends for front ends pattern. Now, let's say that our solution wants to transfer money somewhere then we are going to implement a transfer module in all of our backend services. So from one perspective, we have improved our solution by implementing backends for front ends pattern. But from the other side, we have violated the right principle. Don't repeat yourself. And we have repeated the transfer module over and over across all of our backend services. And this is not the right way to do it. And the right way to do it is to pull out all of these transfer modules from the backend services and put them in a separate service. Let's call it transfer service. Then we are going to have a communications between the different backend services and the transfer services or any other common service. Now you might be asking, what should stay in the backend service and what should be moved to the transfer service? And the answer for this is whether it's a business logic or a client specific logic. Client specific logic is the logic that's specific to a particular front end. For example, Alexa backend service here is going to have the Alexa specific logic that's required to run your solution on Alexa, similar to the mobile backend service and the desktop backend service. While the business logic will have the business rules or validations that needs to be applied across all of these backend services. And having this in mind, it will help you to determine what should stay on the backend service and what should be moved to other transfer service or common use service. Now let's talk about some considerations you need to keep in mind while using this pattern. First of all, the number of backend services. You need to be clear of how many front ends are required to be supported in your solution. And then you will get sense of how many back end services you will have to implement in your solution as well. Also, you need to decide whether to implement a back end for each front end or to have just a single back end for all front ends in your solution. As we have already seen before, in this situation, each front end is going to display different amount of information. Then it makes sense to have a separate backend service for each front end. However, if all of your front ends are going to display same amount of information, which is the full user profile, then it will make sense to have single backend service to be consumed from all of your front ends. Then you need to be aware of code duplication. While creating separate backend service for each front end, there is amount of code duplication is going to happen. However, you should aim to keep this as minimal as possible. Also, client specific logic and business logic, as we have seen before, we should aim to have only client specific logic stay in the backend service. Other business logic should be moved to other common services to be consumed in your solution. Then talking about development team responsibilities. Are you going to have each development team responsible for a backend service or making all development teams responsible for everything? That's depending on your operating model. Also, finally, the implementation effort. In addition to the coding and development, you need to be aware of the CI-CD pipeline deployment effort, debugging effort that you will have to do when implementing or creating multiple backend services for your solution.
Now let's see when you should use this pattern. When you have a significant development overhead in a general backend service. As we've seen before, we have a single backend service to be consumed from different frontends. Each frontend is going to display different amount of information. Then accordingly, we will have to do a lot of customization in the backend service to be able to serve these different frontends. And this is exactly when you should consider using this pattern. Also, when you want to optimize the backend for a specific frontend or a specific client interface, also sometimes you might find that another language is better for the backend service for a certain or a specific frontend, like Alexa presentation language. Now let's see when you shouldn't use this pattern. If your interfaces are making the same request to the backend, Consider this scenario here, if all of your frontends are required to display the full profile details, then it doesn't make any sense to implement this pattern and have a separate service for each frontend, as long as all of them is required to display the full profile details. And it will make more sense to implement a general backend service to be consumed from all frontends, as long as all of them are going to display the full profile details. Also, when you have only one interface in your interaction with the backend, if you have only a mobile app, then you don't need to implement this pattern. You don't have an Alexa skill, you don't have a desktop version or a smartwatch, just a mobile app, then you shouldn't use this pattern. Now we are coming to the end of this video. I hope now it's clear for you what the backends for frontends pattern is about, when you should use it, when you shouldn't. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to put it in the comments below. And thanks for watching.